Okay then, so there's one more thing I'd like to show you in this series, and that is how to set up some redirects in your application. So I've already created a simple project using Firebase in it, and we can see we have these three files and the public folder. These are the default files of the public folder as well. So I've not changed anything. All I've done is say Firebase in it to generate all this. Okay then, so to configure our options for hosting, we open up this firebase.json file. And inside here, we can see this hosting property. Now inside the hosting property, we can place different options to configure different things. Right now we have two different things in here. We're saying what the public directory is, which is public, this thing. And we're also saying what we'd like to ignore. So say for example, we place certain files inside this folder that we don't actually want to deploy like node modules, then we can place those things in here. And we can see we already have firebase.json and node modules. So it doesn't deploy these things. Okay, so I'd like to now show you how to do some redirects. And to do that, we need a redirect property. So let me come inside hosting and do a redirect. Oops, not in capitals. Okay, redirect. And then this is going to be equal to an array. And each redirect is going to be an object inside this array. So let me just open this up first of all and do our first object. Now inside each object, we need three different properties. We need a source, which is where the user goes to, for example, forward slash about. Then we need a destination, which is where we redirect them to if they go to that source. And then we need a type of redirect. Is it a 301 redirect, which is a permanent redirect, or is it a 302 redirect, which is a temporary redirect? So let's do these three properties. First of all, the source, which is where a user goes to. And in the first case, we'll just say forward slash about. Now we don't have an about page, so we're not going to serve that up. Instead, I want to permanently redirect this to index.html, or rather just the root directory. So I'm going to say now the destination is going to be just forward slash, like so. Now we need a type property. So we'll say type, and this is going to be a permanent redirect 301. So that is our first redirect object. Now I'm going to copy this because I like to do another, and this time we'll say forward slash contact. Again, we'll just redirect them to the root because we only have an index file right here. And this is going to be a 302 redirect, which is just a temporary redirect. So now we've done that, let me come down here. I'm going to deploy this application. And by the way, this index file is just the default index file that Firebase created for us. I've just changed the text. That's all I've done and taken out the CSS. So we're going to deploy this project by saying Firebase deploy and press enter. Okay, so now that has done, let's go over here and refresh. And we should now see the new deploy right here. We can see 625, that is now. So what I'm gonna do is now open this up in a browser to have a look at this. And we can see that it's still the old one. So let me hard refresh. And now we can see it's the new one. This is the thing I've just deployed. Now, if I go to something like forward slash hello, then we're gonna get that 404 page. Remember, Firebase creates this for us right here. But if I go to forward slash about, then what's going to happen is it's going to redirect us to the home page. Now, this is the cached about page because of the old view application that we upload. We just need to hard refresh right here and then we get that redirect. So if I do it again, forward slash about, then it's going to redirect now to the home page. And the same is true if I go to forward slash contact. Remember, that doesn't exist. But instead of going to the 404 page, like forward slash hello did, instead we're redirecting to the home page. Okay? So that's how we set up some redirects. The different types, 301 and 302, permanent or temporary, the source, which is where they go to in the browser or where they type, and the destination where we send them to. So that's it for this series. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to share, subscribe, and like, and I'm going to see you in the very next one.